My name is Junko Yamamoto and I am a painter and installation artist. I work with oil and also work with fabric, uh, soft sculptures, creating larger installation pieces. And my work is about basically what we are made out of is the same thing. And when we come in down to a small microscopic level, we are all made out of one same thing. And we are part of the one thing in this world. Unity as a whole is my basic idea of my work. My background is painting and printmaking as well. I still love doing printmaking, but having my painting studio, uh, painting and printing at the same time on the canvas is kind of fulfilling my um, urge to, I wanna do printmaking too, but just doing it all at the same time. That's why um, kind of mechanically textured surfaces part is definitely um, brayers and stencils sometimes and uh, of course it going over with uh, free hands afterwards to enhance it but uh, that's how I built the colors so that's not all really thick brush strokes and whatnot. How is showing always one in visual context is very that's my challenge keep uh, questioning myself on my explicing in a way that makes sense, but the layers of the color that I built on the surfaces with um, brayers and brushes and stencils and that whole translucentness into the complex color combination, I'm trying to convey that and part of it. And also these organic form-esque um, shapes that I put in my paintings are inspired by those um, electrons and, and atoms and cell divisions and all these uh, biology microscopic imagery that is not a literal sense but that that was inspired by from it and also the pop culture sense to it to uh, make it in my own twist to it. It's also um, my nostalgia, nostalgia color that makes me feel tingle <laughs> is when I'm looking at my colors. Yeah. So um, some of them are very recognizable shapes like cloud shapes and thought bubble shapes. Those are the shapes that I've been using it in my paintings for years and I still love using it to incorporate something that's recognizable into abstract images just makes sense to me and the thought bubble is from me growing up in Japan reading graphic novels and comics and that is my uh, metaphor for collective consciousness it's kind of shapes like brain to some people says so like I totally I don't know that looks like it and then um, that talking of course the conversation bubble I keep that shape because of um, my concept is about people are uh, sharing collective consciousness what we are thinking about in a collective level is we are sharing a similar energy plane is my um, basic idea of we are part of one thing and that lead to the shape of pillow I really love uh, is also when you are sleeping you are in a state of sharing that idea perhaps that's like my own take on it and then also I love the shape of pillow so can't help using it <laughs> and uh, so is cloud it's similar idea of what we are sharing up there, not uh, tangible, we can see it or touch it, but that I feel like we are sharing, sharing the same energy in a bigger context. And that 
shapes and colors, I had a chance to make it into flat, um, very simplified version of my painting in um, digitally. And I decided to, oh, it might be fun to print it on fabric. And oh, it might be fun to sew in back to back mirror image and then put it, some stuff stuffy in it to soft sculpture would be fun and then that's how it kind of organically start happening and then I had uh, opportunities to create smaller to larger um, installation pieces throughout the years since 2016 so it started growing my inventory started growing and more I made it I was excited about oh I want to make more and I want to what, what if this is all one clumpy one thing or is this like maybe on the mobile might be fun or it, it's still really evolving um, to today and today I'm putting, putting it onto the wall and then giving me more ideas to do new new works yeah my color palette of where is that coming from that whole thing not just a, a soft sculpture but my paintings um, inspiration is oh, always back of my head is that nostalgia and then where that coming from is like uh, the textile that I was uh, in touch when I was younger it's most likely um, 70s retro <laughs> fabrics to uh, kimono fabrics both of them um, I was intrigued by not close close but then when I looking at from far that really excited me to, to like wanting to go closer to it and I cannot help running towards it what was it what was it and then looking at the actual thing close close by and that distance wanting to bring it closer that's my inspiration in a very abstract way. I love that sound because whatever happens in our universe, everything is affected us in a way, in, in vibration, and we all resonate with each other. Doesn't matter, we don't know visually, but something happens in the corner of the universe uh, we are all really connected I, that's I think as an energetically so I thought why not saying it as like a web cosmically I uh, spent four months of the year in Japan nowadays I'm an older so it's, the inferences are different but I take both good parts in, take it in, and then trying to digest in my own way. And uh, Tokyo is big city, and there's a lot going on. And Seattle has so much um, lush nature, and water is right by. The landscape and the geography is definitely uh, affect me, and the culture. Over there, it's limited space, so think it differently and um, be more creative to utilize limited space. Over here, you get all this space and I just go for it. <laughs> the stuff that I can't do is limited space, I just like go for it and um, vice versa, just bring back that kind of energy into smaller kind of like feedbacking. Um, each other. I like that feedback. So is my soft sculpture and the painting feedbacking each other. I, I like that juxtaposition. Yeah. I put intention to make uh, people happy. That's like my, if, if somebody could feel some kind of joy or some positive power from it, I, that's, that made my day. That's like so, so awesome.